Hello everyone, welcome back to InVlog and today in this lesson we are going to teach you some phrases that we should use when we apologize for something. That means when we say sorry, right? So you could say that it's a lesson uh, about other ways of saying sorry. So let's jump into the lesson. Okay, five phrases for apologizing number one I'm sorry that okay so I'm sorry it's one of the most used and most common phrases or sentences okay and we use it every day almost every day okay sometimes we make some mistake and we say sorry so saying sorry <clears throat> sorry is always a good thing Okay, because it shows that uh, you didn't want to do that. Okay, just something happened accidentally, unintentionally. Okay, so I'm sorry that. I'm sorry that it's, you can see that it's an uh, incomplete sentence. So after that, you can add uh, anything you like. Okay, anything you just want to talk about or anything just you just did. Okay, or made a mistake, right? So... Uh, I've given an example that you can see. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, I was so rude yesterday. Okay, so being rude is not a good thing to be, you know. It, it hurts people and it's kind of abusive, right? So there is, you know, other ways to make people understand, okay? And if they don't want to understand, no problem. No problem. It's their problem. It's not yours. So let them... Uh, have your own way let them understand things uh, the way they like okay so you don't have to be rude for that <clears throat> sorry so I was rude uh, so rude yesterday okay so you can replace any replace this sentence with anyone any sentence you like okay yeah for example I'm sorry that I was so late yesterday or I'm sorry that um, I misbehaved with you okay and of course, it's all about your apology, okay? So try to put, not try, must try to put some apologetic tone, okay, in your voice, okay? You can't say, I'm sorry. I mean, no one says so, okay? Sometimes you say, I'm sorry. It's okay, but uh, the more uh, softness you have, your voice has, the more be uh, the more result, I mean, the, the more softness your voice has, has the better result it will bring right okay so i'm sorry that you could say i'm sorry or i'm sorry i'm really sorry okay next one is it's my fault okay it's my fault that means you are taking the responsibility okay so i'm taking the responsibility for the problem so i was the reason for the problem I made that terrible mistake. Uh, it was my decision that ruined everything or part of something, right? So you could say, it's my fault. Okay, when you understand that it's your fault, never, you know, uh, hesitate, okay, to confess that, okay? Because, uh, I mean, uh, if you do so, if you confess, if you acknowledge that it's your fault, then, I mean, you know, the disasters will be lessened or can be controlled right okay next one is oops sorry say so, oops sorry it's uh, the phrase is also very tiny and it's also used for very tiny problems okay so oops say oops sorry for very small problems as I said that so is there if there is a problem very small it could say oops sorry oops sorry oops okay sometimes you know we blur oops sorry okay you know yeah it might uh you know make some people you know uh, i mean they i mean other people might not feel very comfortable with that okay number four uh i should have yes i should have it's it's a nice phrase you could use i should have that means uh you did something but you you should have done something different okay there were some options there was something that you could do but you didn't okay and then later you realized and then you were saying that oh i should have 
example I should have called you and told you I would be late okay so maybe you are late uh, for your status meeting and you knew that but somehow you didn't you know call your boss or colleague that you would be late okay and then you realize that oh my god I had time I had phone I had number but I didn't call right so you say I should have called you that I would be and told you I would be late okay and the last one is <clears throat> sorry I apologize for I apologize I apologize for so apologize for what okay that delay for example so delay okay, it's really formal so remember that it's formal okay so when you are in formal environment okay for a sound by people who are of higher classes or the people you respect uh, and if there is something that you should be apology for then uh, sorry you should be uh, you should apologize for then you could use the term I apologize for okay so apologize for the delay okay so formal term that was late so I, I apologize apologize for the delay okay so it's all about uh, phrases for apology apologizing okay so you we some we know we we are human we make mistakes and uh, making mistake is a problem but problem is not wanting to solve that okay the notion or the attitude towards the problem can be a problem okay great problem so this is how you can express yourself when you when you unintentionally make or sometimes you know intentionally uh, make some mistakes or make some trouble okay you can use any of them well i think you understood the lesson very well and you're going to use them in your speaking and writing there are more lessons on the way only for you hope to see you bye bye i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm really sorry it's my fault oops <laughs>